But once the Air Force reached out and started touching the public at the different malls, that uh, they were inviting people to come to the CAB meeting at that time. It was a CAB. Mm -hmm. And that was an ongoing committee that uh, was trying to establish things. And that was mostly the citizens from the direct area that had been impacted, very much a uh, Hispanic community at that time. Uh, and uh, they, they were doing as much as they possibly could. But at that time, the, uh, the TCE cleanups, which we would see as the, the major grouping, uh, there, uh, it, it happened to be the largest contamination was from the Hughes Aircraft plant site. Uh, secondary to that, the Tucson Airport was involved with a very large one. And a secondary site on the airport known as the Three Hangers area was also involved as another one. Well, it turned out that each one of these places I've mentioned was actually designated as a Superfund site by themselves. And that meant that the EPA was overseeing these groups. And it turned out there was seven or nine of these Superfund sites within the airport region of Tucson, all in, around the uh, where the airport sits today. Uh, and there were certain citizens that were trying to go to the meetings that were being called for each of these different sites. Uh, and uh, as I got more and more active, I went to several of the meetings and I noticed a few people that I would see at different meetings, but uh, I still didn't know much about it yet. I hadn't started attending the cab meetings or anything. Uh, but when I got invited from the Air Force uh, PR people that were in town, I came over to the cab and got introduced there. Uh, and uh, I decided I really wanted to be active. So I stayed in and listened to some of the committee meetings. And uh, we began to form the ideas at, at that time around how, how we could uh, establish some uh, ground rules for the UCAB to work under. Because primarily the cab at that time was watching the cleanup from the Air Force plant site group and not the other ones so much. Uh, so we went from there. In the beginning, uh, I was looked at, I think, very cautiously by the members because they were a pretty close-knit group of people, and they were working hard to try to fix the problems themselves. Uh, but I, I thought I could uh, begin to help them. I had been studying quite a few things under the environmental concerns, uh, so I, was, I felt pretty knowledgeable about different things. For example, the, the term Superfund site, uh, uh, if you haven't looked at it or know anything about it, you might not even know today what it really means. And uh, But I had already learned a lot about those things. And I felt I could help the community be better involved with that type of thing. So we had, uh, I did join, We this was under the cab, I did join that and uh, began to go to every meeting every month, and there was so much activity going on, periodically we would have a meeting every two weeks at that time. And uh, once we established that we were going to try to do some other things, I joined uh, the group, and we began to have meetings. And that's when I discovered that uh, we needed, to, in order to be really sure that we could uh, meet certain goals that we wanted to begin to set, I felt that we needed to have to be able to touch more of the different sites as a community board. And instead of being exclusive to the airport plant site, I felt we needed to, to talk to the other groups that were out there uh, and find out how we could uh, get more activity together. So we began to develop a uh, set of ideas uh, that the board itself, the CAB board, could uh, feel comfortable with to achieve the goals that they wanted. Then they would have a meeting at a high school or somewhere close to that district area and invite the community in by having newspaper advertisements. Mm -hmm. And then people would come to, to review what was being said. And then the, but all of the people in the community were really audience people at that time. They were invited to come. And after everything was already shown to them, they were allowed to stand up and ask a question or two but they were never heard as a voice on how to make sure that the community's thoughts were taken care of. And that didn't begin until the UCAB really got, got started and got involved.